Hey everyone, welcome to another top six list. I'm of course GC, like and subscribe to the channel. And let's talk about the top six list. Top six zombie games. It's no secret, zombies have been in trend for over a decade. We have dramatic shows like The Walking Dead, comedies like iZombie, and even a mixture like Z Nation. But it's also extended to comics, movies, and of course, video games. And there's quite a lot of video games out there with the zombie genre theme. So, but I'm gonna go with the top six. This was a hard list to do, not gonna lie. But I wanna say one thing regarding this list. There will be no days gone on this list. I know, I know, I'm shocked. But there is a ton of video of zombie games that need recognition. And if I put Days Gone on here, it's automatically number one. It's my favorite, favorite zombie type game. So I'm taking it off and we're gonna look at some other zombie games that deserve recognition. All right, like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it. These are the top six zombie games. All right, at number six, it's Back for Blood, a first person online co-op game where you can play as one of many different characters with different perks and styles, but also with lots and lots of guns, but also with lots and lots of creatures and zombies that quite frankly are downright terrifying. The most terrifying one I found was the hag, which will run up to you and try to swallow you whole, but there's more. You have the basic ones, but also you have your exploders, your big guys, your ogres, and much, much, much more. Now, this isn't really technically a quote unquote zombie game. I decided to put it on here because it is an interesting take on the zombie genre and the mutations it can produce. It's an interesting concept and an interesting idea. And there's lots of blood and guns. At number five, it's Delivery from the Pain, a top-down survival horror game where your object is, well, to survive. Unlike other games on the list, where you are trying to find out what is going on or finding a cure, in this game, you are playing to find resources and build up your shelter. Now, this includes finding things like wood, metal, leather, and other supplies to either strengthen your fences or build new equipment. Whether it's guns, melee weapons, or even for your own place, like a shower, a bed, and a carport. But you also have to repair stuff as well, so don't spend everything building new stuff, because eventually you are going to have to repair items and repair your stronghold. You also have to monitor the four important factors. Overall health, food, rest, and mood. Get any of these too low and it's game over. So this is less shoot em up, I mean it does happen, and but this is more scavenging and supply hunting. So if you love that type of stuff, then you'll just love this game. At number 4, it's Dead Age 2, and this is a very unique twist on the whole zombie genre, as they more or less turn this into a turn based RPG with building elements. Both are unique and interesting features on their own. But to make this a turn-based RPG is beyond rare. Most zombie games are action games and the fact that you have the ability to sit there and think about what action you want to take is an interesting concept. Also adding the fact that you are looking after a house this time and kind of rebuilding it and making it a stronghold. It's one of the most interesting zombie games out there. I definitely would check it out. It's on Steam, not on console unfortunately, but I would definitely check this one out because it's a very unique blend. It's RPG, building elements, and a zombie genre. It's a very interesting and unique blend. At number three, it's Resident Evil 2. The remake, by the way, I should clarify that. This is a third person shooter game with two different walkthroughs, two different stories, as well as you play as two different main characters. You can play as either Claire Redfield or Leon Kennedy. And this whole game is about investigating what is going on in Raccoon City and also investigating the Umbrella Corporation. And along the way, you are going to be facing a ton, a ton of creatures, the most being the zombies that stop your path. But there's also this big giant bastard known as Mr. X 
who just stalks you and is coming after you. Honestly, this is a nice combo of suspenseful horror mixed with action. And obviously the game just looks fantastic and is great to play. I love it. I know it sounds weird, like, cause I'm not the biggest Resident Evil fan, but I love this. I can play this all the time. At number two, it's The Last of Us. The first game, by the way, and as you can probably tell, this is not the upgraded version. This is not the remaster. This is not the remake. I am not spending 80 bucks for a game I already have. Now, anyways, you play as Joel and are transporting a young girl named Ellie to Utah because she's immune to this virus that has infected humans. That story alone is rather interesting. So instead of rather guessing what happened to the world or what's going on, you end up getting a clear picture of what exactly happened. You can face some pretty freaky infected as well, such as runners, stalkers, of course the deadly clickers, and the worst one, the bloaters, which can kill you as soon as they grab a hold of you. Honestly, the game does deserve respect. That's why it's number two on this list. It did set a standard that a lot of games are following now. But, but, there is one game that started this whole trend for me, and that is, at number one, it's Telltale's The Walking Dead. And this is the series that started my love for zombie media, if you will. The first season, for example, actually made me interested in both The Walking Dead comic and the show, as I didn't even know either of these existed until I played the game. But the reality is, it actually made me a bit of a diehard fan of the whole zombie genre. One thing that is different from this game and the rest on this list is that this is very much a decision making choices and consequences game where there is less shooting and action and more dialogue and decisions which affect the overall story and characters. I love that stuff more than the action games. So yeah, this was easily going to be number one because this got my obsession of zombies kind of rolling along. There's a lot of great zombie games out there, a lot that could have made this list. And I honestly could probably do a second part for this. If you want that, let me know in the comments down below. But for me, The Walking Dead, it started my love for this. You can all blame this game. This is what started it for me. All right, everyone. So that was my list. Let me know in the comments down below what your list is. Also like, subscribe to the channel and let me know if there were some games that should have been on this list, like automatically. Other than that, I will see you all on another video, another live stream, and another time. This is GC, take care, and God bless.